In this lecture, we are going to learn about arrays in TypeScript and how it is different from JavaScript arrays. Arrays are basically a collection of values. And just like in JavaScript, we can create an array using square brackets in TypeScript also. So let's go to VS Code. And here, let's first create a simple array. So I'm going to use this let keyword to create this array. I'll simply call it as person. And to this, I'm going to assign an array. For that, we can use a set of square brackets like this. And in there, we can specify some values. For example, let's say the name of the person is John. His age is 28. He is also a male. And then let's say his salary is $1,000. Okay, so here we have created an array which can store a value of different types. Now, if I hover over this person array now, you will notice that its type is an array of string or number. That means in this person array, we can store a value of type either string or number. That's because the array which we are currently assigning to this person array, it only contain values of type string or number. So here, the TypeScript has inferred the type of this person array as an array of string or number. Okay, so if I try to push any other type of value in this person array using this push method, for example, if I try to push true here, you see we have an error. And the error says argument of type boolean is not assignable to parameter of type string or number because the type of this person array, it has been inferred as an array of string or number. So we cannot insert any Boolean value in it. We can only insert either a string value or a number value. If I try to insert 28, we will not get any error because this person array can store a value of number type also. It can store a value of either string type or number type. Now, if I create an array of a single type, for example, let's say I'm creating this names array and in this array, I'm only going to have values of type string. So now if I hover over this names array, you will notice that it is an array of type string. So this is how we specify the type for an array. We specify the data type and after that we specify square brackets, which means that that variable is basically an array of this data type. If I create an array of numbers, let's say birth here and to this if I only assign numeric values like this so now this array only contains numeric values and that's why the TypeScript will infer its type as an array of numbers if I hover over this birth array you will see that this birth array it is basically an array of numbers and if I try to insert any other type of value to this birth here array by using this push method let's say here I'm trying to push a string value let's say hello again we will get an error so this hello cannot be inserted inside this birth year array because this birth year array it is of type number array it can only store a numeric value all right so this is how typescript infers the type of an array when we are storing a single type of value in that array then the type of that array will be an array of that type for example, here when we are storing only string values, the data type of this names variable is array of string. In case of birth here, it is array of numbers. And here for this person array, when we are specifying value of different types in this array, in that case, based on what type of values we have in that array, its type has been inferred. In this case, this array which we are assigning to this person variable, it has only string values and numeric values. So its type is inferred as string or number. That means this array can store either string values or number values. All right. Now during initialization, if I also specify a Boolean value in this array, let's say true. Now this array will be an array of either string values, number values or Boolean values. Because during initialization in this array, we have string values, number values and Boolean values. I hope this point is clear. We can also set the type of an array explicitly. For example, let's say here, I simply want to create this variable names. And what we want is in this names variable, it should be an array. 
and in that array we only want to assign string values so we can specify it like this we can specify the type of this name variable explicitly like this and later we can go ahead and we can push string values to it for example i can say names dot push and i want to push a string value john okay now here we have an error and the error says variable names is used before being assigned so what we can do is initially we can assign an empty array to it like this but if i try to insert some other type of value inside this names array for example let's say if i try to insert a numeric value we will get an error because this names it is of type string array so we can only insert string values inside this names array we cannot insert any other type of value inside this names array then if we want to specify the type for this birth year explicitly again we can use colon and then in this birth year array we want to store only numeric values so we can say array of numbers so we will specify the data type which is number and after that we can use a set of square brackets like this so in this birth year now we can only insert values of number type and for this person array let's say in this person array we only want to store values of string or number type we don't want to store any other type of value inside this person array so for that we can specify its type so again we will use colon and there we will specify that this person array is going to store a value of either string type or number type and since we want to specify two data types here we will use parenthesis like this there we will specify string or number so this pipe here it is basically used for a data type called union so in typescript we also have a union type which we will talk about later in this course but for now just understand that when we specify something like this there we are telling that this variable here it can store a value of string or number and after that if we specify square bracket like this in that case we are saying that in this person variable it should be an array because we have used a set of square brackets here and in that array we can only store values of string type or number type and here you see we also have an error this error is because since we have specified the type of this person array explicitly to store string or number values when we are storing a boolean value here we are getting this error if i remove this boolean value from here now we only have string and numeric values in this array so now we don't have any error all right finally if we try to access the elements of an array just like in javascript we can access the elements of an array using its index so for example from this names array if i want to access its first element currently it is going to have only one element which is john so here if i say console.log and if i want to access the first element of this names array i can say names and then i can specify an index which is zero okay so it is going to give us the first element from the names array and initially this names array is empty and after that at this line we are pushing one element inside this names array so if we save the changes here and if we compile this app.ts file you see john is logged here but if i say names of one in this names array we don't have any second element let's save the changes and let's compile this app.ts file again and you see it is logging undefined because we don't have any second element inside this names array so in that case it is logging undefined in the same way we can also access elements from this birth year array so let's say we want to access the second element from this birth years array so for the second element the index will be one if we save the changes and if we compile this app.ts file 1989 is logged here because the second element of this birth year array is 1989 so using its index using the index of an element we can access its value and we can also loop over an array so for looping over an array i'm going to use for of loop so here let's create a variable let's call it maybe year of and let's say we want to loop over this birth year array and what do we want to do so for each iteration inside this year variable we are going to get the birth year value for that element so for the first iteration this year variable will receive this first element for the second iteration this year variable will receive this second element and for the third iteration this year variable will receive this third element 
and let's say we simply want to log it in the console so here we are going to log year so for each iteration we are going to log the value stored in this year variable if i save the changes and if we compile this app.ts file again here we should see all these three elements logged in the console so 1998 1989 and 2007 and this 1989 this first log is coming from this line let's remove it let's save the changes again let's compile app.ts and now we should see each element of this birth year array logged here so basically we are looping over each element and for each iteration we are logging the value of that element this is all about arrays in typescript we are going to use arrays and objects quite often in this course so it's very important to understand how an object and an array works in typescript this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day